Uh-huh. Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Some Minecraft. It's your boy, Weasel, and we're going to hopefully build a gate today. I've been sorting through my inventory. I made the UI a little bit smaller. Uh, I've been looking into trees do not float mod that... Oh, I need sleep, don't I? Ow, yep, I forgot to get some sleep. That's that's entirely my fault, so now I have to deal with these guys. Come, you know what, I do have... Don't I have uh, some arrows? I, why are they not in my inventory? There you go. So, yeah, as you can see, I built a second backpack because I've just been uh, bothered by always having um, not enough space when I carry around all of those blocks and building materials, so I just made a second backpack. Uh, full of just building materials and blocks and that way we can carry around more stuff because eventually uh, I intend to uh, what do I intend to? Ah yes, create more paths and that's going to require me to get some more uh, do some more digging and chopping down trees and then I'm going to run out of space. So here's a thing that I want to try. I also improved my belt so now we can foot, put five tools into our tool belt which saves a bunch of space. Yeah, you, you go wander off, that's fine. Um, so it turns out, thanks to my comment section, I now know that, where's my gate? Spruce fence gate, thank you. That I can just put two gates here. And once they're both open, the horse can go through. Physics be damned. Yup, if only I've known. <laughs> I could have uh, saved myself a lot of hassle with the uh, piston gate, but that's okay. It was an interesting uh, piston, sticky piston uh, uh, gate, but that's okay. Uh, put some flowers here along this path. I still need to do a lot of work along this area. But you remember how I said I wanted to build like an entrance gate to Fletcher's Frontier? Yeah, I still intend to do that. So I wanted to talk about the replay mod because I've been thinking about, you know, ah, if I, you know, work my way through these paths and through these trees, it might not be as interesting to watch that. So I looked into it and it turns out it's a fabric mod. Um, you can install it with 116, but uh, the one that I've been looking at at least, but it requires fabric launcher, which I don't have. I'm using the forge launcher and uh, just putting the fabric fabric API into the forge launcher isn't really going to work, so that's out of the question for now. So I'm going to have to come up with a different solution. I could, of course, ha have a, a second client that then records me moving around, but then I would have to do that and then uh, move it around manually, and that seems rather obnoxious, to be frank. So, um, and from first person might just be a little bit disorienting. Oh. See, this is this is why I need to start working on these paths because uh, I get confused. All right, let's uh, dig this up real quick because I'm going to replace this with a wooden path. Uh, three wide or four wide? I think we can start uh, four wide here and then maybe turn it into a three wide path. Something along those lines. God, it's so fast. It's so quick. It's so quick. Okay, give me all of that good stuff. And we're gonna make it... That's... You know what? We can we can leave it a three-wide path, I think. We can turn it into three-wide. Uh, that goes up here, here, here. Wonderful. So I have plenty of slabs with me. Oak slabs. That's what I mentioned about... Yeah, let's put that in here as well. Uh, that's why I brought the second backpack, so I don't have to... Way too much about running out of space, and um, I have two different places to sort it away. It also increases the likelihood that I will lose all of my stuff if I fall into lava. And that would be a real shame, wouldn't it? Excuse me. That's better. Looks a little bit odd that it's a different uh, color from the wood, but I feel also that it will allow us to um, distinguish that a little bit more. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, I, I wonder if I should have gone with uh, only three wide. Because it looks a little bit awkward. Of that width. But that's okay. For down here, we're just going to stick with it. Okay, so... I felt I'm, I also owe you guys an update on Emmet. Uh, remember the rooster? I have oak stairs, fantastic. The rooster where uh, we, we have... I 
Oh, I didn't select the oak stairs. I selected the slabs like a goober. Please stay here, horse. I'm still going to need you. Um, might as m might as well go ahead and place those down in the row. All right, and then three up here. That'll allow me to keep an uh, eye on this, and then we'll move we'll move it over a bit. Three over here, and then three over here. Okay, and here I can uh, just do some shovel digging. And it's important to move this to the same height. Sorry, flower, you will have to... Oops, you will have to go. Didn't mean to place that down. My fault. My mistake. That'll fix itself eventually. I guess that's the downside to having a super efficient shovel. You gotta be careful not to accidentally dig up stuff. Ah! Ah, that looks about right. I'll I'll, I'll go with this. Um, just working a little bit on the path. This I would still like to be replaced by regular grass. So now this is a good idea to just replace those. Oops! Accidentally put that backpack in there on the tool belt. Yeah, this can get really weird really fast. I I can see the problems with that. But. No risk, no fun, or no gain. No pain, no gain. That would be uh, more fitting here. So yeah, Emmett has been doing really well. Uh, he's been a sick rooster that we've uh, taken in. Probably like two months ago now, I want to say. Maybe a little less than two months ago. Um, and he's been having the worst respiratory uh, issues. And it just wouldn't um, get any better. So we even had to get some special medication for him. Um, he cost us several hundred dollars at the vet just to get a good blood work and figure out what's wrong with him. And some people will probably think like all of this just for a rooster, just chop his head off and be over with. It's just, you know, but we keep our pets, uh, our roosters or our chickens as pets that they make eggs. That's, you know, an added benefit, but it's not why we decided to get them. We really think they are awesome birds and we treat them as yeah, family, yeah, to a degree. They don't care too much about this, but that's that's their loss. That is their loss entirely. Okay, this looks good. Let's see if this maybe turns into wood. Uh, and this is weird now. Hmm. Wish I would have kept it three wide. Oh well, lessons learned or something. Should we fix this up? Yes, I'll fix this up real quick. All right, that's better. Wonderful. Where's my horse now? Uh, where did you escape to? Come back here. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. I'm not going to keep working on it. That would take forever, but we're going to keep moving. This I'm going to have to right-click eventually. Should I just bring this up, by the way? I've just realized that there's like this dip in here, and I could just straighten that out. That seems to be the right direction to take here. Yes. And then let's close this off, otherwise this looks a little bit awkward. All right, that'll turn into grass eventually, and then we'll all be happy and jolly. Pick your or pick your favorite uh, adjective. If we want to put a railing on top of this, a uh, uh, fencing, then we're gonna have to make this four wide. But I'm not gonna worry too much about this. We came here for a gate. And not to think too much about those things. But yeah, Emmett has been integrating really well with the other chickens. Uh, initially, I mean, he stayed inside the house for a few weeks because we didn't know what he had and how contagious it was. But it turns out it's fine um, at this point. And so we've been putting him, instead of hanging out, uh, us, uh, out with us uh, at night and then putting him into my room in a kennel, he now stays with the ladies. And uh, initially, they didn't want to have anything to do with him, but now he's part of the flock. So, yeah. Here's another thing that the comment section let me know. And it's about our iron golems. That they're not looking too happy. And I didn't even think that was a thing, but here. Enjoy yourself some iron. Oh, I just had to right-click him with that. I didn't know if that needed two or just one, but here you go, buddy. It's all yours. It is all yours. Do you like poppies? I, I don't know what it is with puppies, but maybe he does like them? 
Nope, he does not care for them. That's totally fine. I'll just put him down. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna make sure to do that with every um, iron golem I come across to just give him some iron. Anyways, so the gate. I wanted to have something that looks really neat. Um, welcome to Fletcher's Frontier. That looks really neat, and that's why I got a lot of these stone blocks and um, stone bricks and whatnot. And I think I'm gonna grab some slabs to work on this. Uh, I'm just gathering my materials right now. Uh, I'm gonna grab my uh, slabs, stone slabs. I think one set will do. Uh, stone brick stairs, we're gonna need a few of those. That's for certain, and then stone bricks, and I guess we're gonna need some stone to turn that into stone bricks, because I'd like to have this gate to be made out of st uh, to be made out of stone. So that shall happen. Stone bricks. Sure, let's turn those all into stone bricks, and then we move forward with that. Uh, I will also grab my scaffolding. Uh, where did I keep that? That's yep, that's in here. That'll come in handy. Wonderful. Yep, stay here. Stay here. Don't 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 go away. All right then. Hello. Oh wait, I have I have the whole horse thing. I built the whole thing. I should. Where where did it go? Where did I drop it off? Horse. No, that's that's fox. Where's horse? Is horse over there? According to minimap, horse might be here. Okay, horse, come here. Why would I forget that? I even built. The stable for it. Wonderful. Okay, you stay in there while we keep working. Maybe I should sleep though, because I haven't slept in several days, so we have these phantoms attacking us. And I also don't want to deal with mobs spawning. That'd be impractical. And also, before we work on this, ah, uh, yeah, I see you two in there. Fence gates. These guys can't open fence gates. Didn't know that. So, first of all, let's get you back into your house. Please. Okay, you're trying to go to your house, I guess. Do you not... Okay, do... there you go. Man. What, what a goober. So if they can't open that, I'm just gonna use a spruce fence gate in here. That looks weird and wrong. Excuse me, let me... let me fix you. Hmm... where... where is... there is... It, it is... here... Gate. There you go. Well, I hope that will most certainly keep... Uh, I hope that will keep them out, because I'm... really annoyed by them. I don't want to deal with them anymore. Yeah, this is just a silly spot. I guess they can walk around in here. I don't want them walking on the upper level, though. They keep walking here and then hurting themselves. Which is not something I want. So, let's not. I'm just It's like a kid um, safe gate. Just, just to keep the kitties out. <laughs> Alright, that shall do. I know they can still walk around this way, but... Meh. I don't know if they are smart enough to do that. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. Okay, so now that that's all taken care of, the gate. I'm gonna grab some scaffolding and I'm going to place it around it. Um, it would be neat if it was something that we could walk up to, like two little towers. Really small, doesn't need to be big, I don't want to go and create like this big ass pro uh, big project. Um, so we're removing this fence. I think like a 3x3 three three over here would be rather neat. Just, um, and then we can have a ladder at the top, I think. And I want this to connect. I guess 3x3, three yeah, 3x3. Three three. It's small, but I just want to have a very simple layout. Nothing crazy. Because, uh, by go too crazy on a single house, then, uh, yeah, you get the idea. So this is gonna be the bottom for that. Should put iron doors in. And we do have doors, and I could use levers to open them. I would like that, that would look neat. And 
fluckily, fluckily, what, what am I saying? Luckily, this kind of matches up. The sign has to go, but that's quite all right. I'll just move it over here. You are entering Fletcher's Frontier. Beautiful. And then we put the blocks over here, mirroring the look. Wait, that's a four wide. That's not, that's not how that goes, weasel. What are you doing, you silly goober? That's how that goes, okay. Wonderful. Scaffolding, let's put some down. Hmm. Is this a good height? Nah, I, I want it to be a little higher. Ow. Excuse me. I still don't fully understand how you place those things properly. Okay, shift puts them in this direction. Okay, and then just right click in whichever direction I want it to be in. All right, good enough. Hello, how do I go further? Ah, thank you. This is how I go further down. So, now for the easy part, we're just gonna build up. And it's essentially just a staircase, not like a, a outpost of sorts. Uh, this is all it's going to be. Just something where I can put the ladders down and then walk up um, to the correct spot. That's gonna cost me quite a few stone bricks, but it's gonna look really neat, I think. Oh, it's like right on the... Hmm, gate. <laughs> okay, tell you what, we're going to extend this a little bit, but only with slabs. You know, a little overhang, so you can uh, walk around on it. And... Yeah, why not? Let's let's integrate it with the roof a little bit. Just go in here. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'm okay with this. And then I figure stone stairs, if we have those going inwards, that will look decent. Gonna need to make a few. We're gonna do that as the last step. Okay, good. And I figure we should have a little bridge in between those two. Wouldn't that be neat? Just a little bridge. Now, I'm also going to do those with stone brick slabs. All right. I think this is, yeah, this is where it should connect. And then we have those two in the middle. We can put a neat fence here and that will work out great. Ow. Do you even have ladder? I don't even have ladders with me. It's not, not that it's a big deal. I can just make some. Just, just something I realized. Didn't bring any ladders. I'd also like to integrate the, um, this thing here with the <clears throat> minecart. Not sure how yet. It looks a little bit awkward. It doesn't really fit in neatly. I actually have a really, I have a neat idea how to deal with this. And I think I'm going to need activator rails for this, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there. One thing at a time. All right, sweet. That's looking good. That makes the wall next to it look so abysmally small. <laughs> uh, I can't put a slip, can't put a slab down there. That's just going to look a little awkward. That's just how it is. Um, yeah, <laughs> I like, I like the look of it though. I'm, I'm, Certainly digging this. Mm. Guess it doesn't need really uh, anything there. Maybe I have... Nope, I don't have any letters here, but I've got plenty of wood. Uh, plenty of planks that I can turn into a ladder. Where do you think you're going, Rena? Get a job! Man. Oh, I forgot these two blocks. My bad. All right, let's splurge a little bit. Let's get some iron doors. Very neat. Wow, so secure. Oops, didn't mean to put like two down, my bad. 
Now, I'm not sure if this is still correct or if I got that wrong, but I now use a lever to open those. That's at least my hope. I also love that I have all kinds of stuff, but no cobblestone blocks. Again, forgot about those. My bad. Guess we're just gonna grab a few while we're at it. Down here. Okay, I got some levers, or lever, whichever one you prefer. <laughs> okay, that works. I'm very glad it does. Otherwise, <laughs> this would have been awkward. How do I close it from the inside, though? Now, that's a different question. Whoops. I mean, I figure you can probably put one of those inside if you really needed to. But what about pressure plates? Um, those are trap doors. Because opening them is one way, but what about pressure plates? Nope, doesn't work. Well, that's gonna require some three-way switch logic that I will have to look into. But for now, that's okay. I don't expect to go in through this tower very often, and I just think it kind of looks cool. Talking about looking cool, let's grab some lanterns, the remaining six that I have, and let's place them right above here. That's a good height. And then, nah, this is coming together nicely. It's not, it's not a lot, but it's, it's something. Let's go for some stone steps. Um, stone brick steps. Stone brick stairs. How many am I going to need? I'm um, not too sure about that. Probably more than 13, uh, more than 16. Can't hurt to have a few extra anyway. So this is my idea, just placing them around this. Makes it easier to fall off, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I assume that's one of the problems. But the aesthetic, guys, the aesthetic is very important. <laughs> it's the most important thing of all. And... Perfect. So... What do I do about the middle? Should I put fencing down or more stone brick stairs? Could also just be lazy and put just stone bricks down and call it a day. And if we want it, we can walk on this. Ah, uh, lights. Lights, lights, lights. Ah, uh, we could put them just... Hmm, on the corners? No, I want, I want lights in here. I'm feeling particularly lazy, so how about just two cobblestone walls? And then we put the lantern on top. Just, just like that. Neat. Yeah, if I don't... <laughs> if I don't open the right side, this is very awkward, to say the least. <laughs> how do I open this now? I don't know. I have no idea how I open this from the inside. I did not think this through. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll, we'll have to figure something out. I'll have to look into a, a good switch. I'm not sure how this works. I know you can do some things. Uh, did I bring any redstone? Yes, I did. So... Okay, now, this opens both. If both are flicked. If one of them is closed. So... I think there's some work to be done with. Okay, this turns it on and then it goes over there and this one doesn't turn it off. This is a weird... Redstone is still a book with seven seals to me. I watched a video and I understand some things, but... Freeway switches, just like in real life, are just like, what is happening? Like, what is going on here? This makes no sense to me. So this doesn't feel quite proper with just the grass blocks here, does it now? I think we should replace those, not with bricks, but just cobblestone. For, for the proper look. That's better. And let's do the same thing over here. Just replace them real quick. And yes, we'll get you a new... we'll get a new sign. Ta-da! Welcome to Fletcher's Frontier. Yay! Now, it's not quite a gate in that you can't really bring anything up or down, but I figure we're gonna figure... I figure we're gonna find something out. 
Ooh, I'm gonna have to try this. Uh, one of the mods that installed is, I think it's called Useful Lights or something along those lines. Whatever the case might be, we can do some cool things like create stone standing torches. Let's see how they are looking. And then with flint and steel, you can turn them on, I'm pretty sure. Oops, nope. Nope, Jesus, nope. Don't don't kill yourself, weasel. Try not to do that, please. Ugh. That's okay. Do I just use a torch on it? How do I... Oh, you need a spot above you, isn't that... Is that right? That might be it. Let's try that again. Ah, it just needs a spot above it. Yeah, look, they, those look actually rather neat. They look so neat, in fact, that I'm going to replace them with some... Uh, replace the things down here. Got also some, like, uh, bigger standing torches. Let me make some of those before I forget that I even have those. Cool. Two big cobblestone standing torches. Figure we can put them in the bottom here, or in the sides. Neato! As you can see, you can make them of all kinds of materials, so even if we want gold, we can get some gold. There's fire pits and large fire pits. Which might be interesting, and then just a mossy um, little, uh, I guess, alternative torches that you can put on little blocks. Fires oak planks and four, and then... Anyway, that's, that's another thing. I always forget to look into <laughs> the mods that I added. That is rather neat. I like the look of this. This works well for me. I'm still going to put two tor uh, two lanterns on the inside just to make it really bright. But that looks good. Oops, sorry. Didn't, did, didn't mean to do that. And we could probably put more of those um, torches around. Maybe in each corner, just one nice big one for, for the look, for the good looks. Let's open our uh, backpack with all kinds of cool blocks. Just stone. Let's try some endosite. I mean, I brought it along. I might as well try to use it. Nope, it probably needs to be polished endosite. What about stone bricks? Oh, standing torches. All right, let's check out those four stone brick standing torches, how they're going to look. Let's try one over here. Pretty, I like them. Like them quite a bit. If we put them on the inside, they are even going to look very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Symmetrical. Very nice. Ah, no, nobody likes you anymore, torches. Your, your time is over. I have way cooler torches now that I'd like to use. I think. <laughs> uh, I'll just place those for now. Oh, hey. I'm going to need to connect you so you eventually turn into grass again. My bad. Doop. Okay, this will eventually turn into grass. Same thing over here. Always kept forgetting that. There's another one that needs to be connected. Foxy, hello. Okay, I'm pretty happy how this uh tower turned out to be. Now, those lanterns. We could just replace those with some neat stones. Uh, neat stone bricks again. And I'm totally okay with doing that. But I'm also kind of curious how other things will look. Let's just try regular stone. How did you get in here? Is, is zombie in here or is that... No, you're fox. Okay, never mind. You keep making your great noises. Okay, he doesn't... Okay, now he saw me. I think he's coming in. Well, maybe a fence would make sense. Wouldn't you say, Weasel? Eventually. I'm way too excited about those. Oops. Did I not bring those blocks with me? I, I guess I did not. Uh, gonna have to sort some stuff away that we don't need on hand. There you go. Stone brick standing torch. Yeah, I'll take two of those. I actually looked for something else. Uh, I have a mod called Decorative Blocks. And they create some, like, support structures, which I really like. Oh, did I... 
<laughs> Man, they sound so weird. Uh, I forgot to put the uh, levers back. Because that it's your boy, Weasel, forgetting to put the levers back. Okay. So, I want my lanterns back because I feel this is a waste of a lantern over here. And they come in quite handy. Visually. Hmm. No, I'm not going to put them here. I'm just going to put them in the corners. Just to light this up. Neat. Everything's neat today. I just have sometimes have words that stick in my head and I just keep repeating. Everything's neat. And people will most certainly call that out. Or definitely used to call it out. I used to say amazing a lot. I don't know why. Or other words. And then they would call that out. All right. Hey buddy, how are you doing? You're you're on a patrol? Very good. I like I like seeing that. Very strong work ethic. A little low on food, I have to say. And I didn't bring too much. I'm gonna eat a golden apple, don't be silly. Well, finding food shouldn't be too big of a problem for me. Let's get some sleep. Let's throw down our sleeping bag. I hear you burning. The other thing I was looking for, as I said... Wow, why are there so many here? Who else? Two more, wow! Dampening. I got, I got, I murdered a skilled one and he gave me sweeping edge too. How, how neat is that? No, I, I don't want any of that. Let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, so we have this weird cart situation going on. How do I make sure... How do I remove this and make it look decent? I have an idea what I could do with a sticky piston, and I think it's called uh, uh, the activator rail. But do I need gold for an activator rail? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Rail. Uh, activator rail. Nope, it just requires the regular stuff. And I think an active. Or is it a detector rail? Well, now I don't know. I think... Hmm, we're gonna have to find out, and we're gonna have to just make one and see if it does it. Because my idea is to put a block, have a block come down to um, stop anything from coming in once the minecart jumps over it, uh, goes over that rail, that particular rail. Now this is what I'm gonna experiment with. Because having a block always down would be great, because then I guess spiders at the most could come in, if anything. Or we could put, uh, no, you can put a, you can't put an iron door down, that doesn't make sense. Weasel, that does not make any sense, does it now? Oh yeah, our rocky dirt, new things, no, no need. Okay, let's go and make those rails. Uh, and see how that goes. Rail, now oh, it's not listed here. Why? Because I still need sticks. And those are in my inventory. Uh, activator or detector? Hmm. Oh, I'm missing the stone pressure plate. Okay, let's try the activator rail. For that, I'm also going to need my redstone torches. I have a few with me. And, oops, in you go. Now it offers it as well. Let's, let's test this. We're gonna need some, we need to do some science again. Okay, so if I put these down and I put a minecart on it. Now, where would that be? Put a minecart on it. Um, give me some of my redstone so I can experiment with this. I put the redstone down. Will this do something? I don't think it does. Well, one way to test this would be to put a door down. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Kind of broke this, my bad. Okay, let's get rid of those. Okay. Minecart, where you are at. No, does not, that does not do the trick. Maybe I need the other one, the detector one. For that I'm gonna need a stone pressure plate. Question is, can I make this real quick? Uh, heavy weighted pressure plate. Nope, just a regular one. I think I need cobblestone for this. If I'm not mistaken. Which I might be. Son of a gun. 
Never enough cobblestone. What is wrong with you, weasel? You have so much in the chests, yet barely anything here. Now, oh, I could have just, I guess, made a stone pressure plate with some stone. Alright, now we have some detectorials. Let's see if they maybe do any better. I don't know, maybe it still needs redstone on top of that. That's entirely possible. You know, you need to power them and then also use them. <laughs> this minecart doesn't seem to have a lot of fun. Okay, what about a detector rail? Haha, <laughs> okay, that does the trick. Now if I remove this... It will close after a short moment. Doesn't happen immediately. Maybe a second after. Okay, so it was the detector rail that we needed all along. So let's see if uh, my plan will work out. So if I put a detector over here, and then E. Now this is gonna be interesting with the redstone, but that's okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna need to remove this one. I'd like to make the uh, piston move sideways rather than up and down. Where is piston? I brought piston along. There you go, sticky piston, just one, thank you. Very good. I take a sticky piston and I put like this and then I do stone. Took. Right, and then once I put a card on here, well, not quite like that, I guess. <laughs> right, it's uh, it's over there. That's what it needs to be connected with. <laughs> um, oh well. So I guess I could just move it to the left as well, but eh, here goes nothing. So now that I have this under here, can I just bring? Oops, bring this up like that. Will that do the trick? I don't think it will. Oh, that's where my minecart went. I've been like goofing around and then I wanted to test something. And there's my minecart. So weasel. So, it's so weasel of me. Okay. So I fussed around with this a little bit. That's great. This turns on. But it doesn't move the piston yet. What am I doing wrong? Probably everything. Like, all the things. Oh man, if I tell you how long this has taken me to figure out how to set up with redstone, you're... You're never gonna take me serious again. Jesus, Louise, that was... Ah, that was quite the ordeal. Not gonna lie. Until I figured out how to set up the redstone the way I wanted it. And that was by... Um, not having something on there, then the piston starts. Which means I had to, what's the term, uh, invert it. And inverting, it's not that I don't understand the logic with inverting. Redstone just is super weird. All right. Oops, that's a little too slow. Also, we're kind of lacking um, rails. So let's fix that, I guess. Um, you know what, can I just uh, remove this one? And if I put it around there, it will be powered. That's going to be a weird one, but it'll work. Uh, also, a uh, creeper blew up. So that was fun that that happened. Anyway, give me one of those. I don't want to make another rail real quick, so I'm just being lazy right now. Just to see if this now works the way I intend to, at least from one direction. The other one's still not going to do the trick. So this brings us up. This clo- Okay. Uh, will this just move through regardless? Didn't I even have to deal with this? Because for all I knew, that's for all I know, that's exactly what the what's the case. Man, that would be annoying if I can just move through this. Oh, I didn't even need to do the whole thing. Well, isn't that isn't that just glorious? I didn't know you could just move through the minecart that way, and I don't think you can walk through this. So, water and oddly, how oddly inconvenient. So. <laughs> All this time fussing around with the redstone. I mean, I learned something, don't get me wrong. But it's annoying that it wasn't really necessary because the cart can just move through this. 
if you're sitting in it. Interesting. Oh, well, it does the trick that I wanted it to do. But, yeah, I could have saved a lot of time. One of these days, I will, I will understand redstone. Okay. So is this still going to work despite there being a block here? Because that's... I'm not too sure about that. I don't, I'm not too sure about anything about this. <sighs> no, it's not. Of course it's not. Why, why, why would it be easy? Why would you... <sighs> I will never understand redstone, it seems. No, 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 stay here. Please don't go away. I need you with me. <laughs> Maybe I need to watch more. Redstone tutorials to understand the weird intricacies of redstone. Yep, how how annoying. Probably can fix this by putting a redstone torch here. Nope, nope, that, that will not work. Oh well, we're, worth a try, I guess. This has to stay like this now. I can't even do that, right? Nope. That won't work. Ah, oh well. Let's just leave this open and pretend it doesn't exist. Where was I? Ah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, removing some of the blocks and then turning, uh, integrating this visually with our uh, gate here. So, I mean, it's kind of neat that I, <laughs> that I have this, but it was not necessary, which is really, really silly, to say the least. Oh well. Maybe somebody knows a good tutorial they can recommend by someone, because uh, it certainly looks like that. I need that. All right, so one thing that I want to do is I want to replace... Oops, I want to replace those cobblestone bricks so it looks like there's um somewhere of a theme going on here. That's not the right word. Um, looks like there's just a, a bed of rock set below, which would make sense. And I guess it, we could just do two layers here um, to make it match the uh, left side. Maybe even move it a little closer like this and then... How does that look? <laughs> it looks like a absolute disaster because uh, there's all of these blocks missing. But other than that, it's fine. It is fine. Same with this over here, these... I'm gonna bring this down onto the same height. And then maybe do some more work with cobblestone later on. But for now, I'm okay with this. I always underestimate how different the speed is. And then this looks always very awkward. Alright then! And another Minecraft day has finished. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I feel so silly for spending so much time with this, but I don't think that mobs can walk in here because I can't walk in here. I doubt that anyone can. Maybe spiders can, for all I know. But yeah, we can just drive through this. No big deal. And that's how we're going to keep it safe, I guess. Yeah, this this won't work either. <sighs> Pretty sure I can't even put a slab on there. There just has to be a hole in the ground. Because that's reasonable, I guess. Okay. And then we have this little disaster of a tower. And we're going to replace this as well. This goes down here. I think I have to put a lever back. Because that one was... E. Where is it? There. Because that was removed when I was playing around with certain things over here. Now this looks rather awkward. All of this situation. Uh, excuse me? How did... How did they end up here? I don't remember placing them. Maybe I did. In the midst of, uh... The chaos. Okay. Now, can I put a cobblestone wall above this? Or will this also break everything? Like this. Okay, it seems that I can put the cobblestone wall over it without it losing its mind over that. Now, what if you put two walls above each other and then close it off like this? Sure, why not? 
just just hide it all away from from plain sight so nobody has to endure this ugly ugly thing and <laughs> I don't know why it bothers me so much it just looks so wrong to me oh well all right I also placed the lever down here just to make sure that nobody uh why is there a detector rail there I don't really need that um just, you know, when we're here, we can't just shoot this off by accident. At least that is my hope, and we're not going to have a villager getting shot off or something else. And I hope I can leave it there now. That'd be rather neat. I think that's going to be it for this episode. Sorry about me fussing around so long with this stuff, but at least we built this neat little tower. I'm sure there are things that we can improve it with, like banners. I don't even know how to make banners. They seem... Oh, Jesus. That's what I get. That's that's what I get. <sighs> well. Oh, even even lost one of those. So happy that that happened. Oh well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have to fix this. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bum 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 b